Hi, everybody. Also, I like how it's just, Yolanda, the first time this has ever been featured on a GDQ. Are we sure about that? We should really check the archive. Just world famous Category. Yolanda. I checked as much said. as I could. I did a little research. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, everybody. Uh, no, I, it, yeah. I'm Flannel Cat. I play video games. Sometimes they're good and sometimes they're Yolanda. I'm joined with the lovely Bro Sencha. Hello there. And the delicious Fizu. Hello, everybody. Why are you going to eat him? <laughs> Just don't. That. You said delicious. That <laughs> Look, really we don't need to dwell on the friend. adjectives. Like these spiders are gonna eat her. Oh my gosh, Yolanda. Hey, what's Yolanda? This is this is a video game <laughs> where uh, it, it is a remake of a Commodore 64 game that you also haven't heard of called Hercules. Um, it is about Yolanda taking the 12 trials of Hercules because Hera has cursed her that no, any man that falls in love with her will die a violent death within like a few days or something like that. You know, the uh, the, the, the Greek Probably gods are the very best. cool like that. Yeah, uh, so we'll we'll get into it more, but we've got spiders and crabs, and uh, this is honestly uh, uh, Kaizo before Kaizo, and don't don't worry, you'll you'll find out. This came out in 1990. Very, as far as I'm aware, this came out in 1990, and yes, uh, Wimp percent is definitely needed for a marathon because there's actually a chance that you'll beat it. It is the perfect video game, and I hope you're ready for it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give a countdown, and then I'm going to start jumping. And uh, I, I told our lovely host beforehand that there there will be a few donation breaks. I don't know when they are until we get there, <laughs> because this whole hey, game runs I'm in ready. a random order. You just so, tell yeah. me I'm ready to go. <laughs> we do not know what stage one is. Yeah, we'll so find out. There, there are twelve trials. We will get any of the first eleven in any order, and we know twelve will always come last. So you know that's okay too. Right. We're gonna uh, find uh, out uh, together. Uh, all right, I'm gonna give it a countdown. We'll start time and uh, wait. Hold on, what's the right direction? Up for Wimp mode. We're gonna play Wimp very specifically because Hero doesn't give you any sort of leeway. Uh, five, four, three, two, Yolanda. All right, golden apples. This is already good. We get a we get a skip in golden apples. This is the eleventh trial. There's birds. I could immediately have jumped over a bird right away, which we did not end up doing. But this is one of the donation rooms. Wait, really? Yeah, this is, this is the one I decided. <laughs> oh, read a read a donation. Oh boy! Get, right off the bat, we have a hundred dollars from Eggplant Wiz, who says, "Much love to Corndan, Flannel Cat, Brosentia, and the rest of the Cusa Grande crew." Awful block is always a highlight of every GDQ. Thanks for keeping it going. I hope we get Screaming Yolanda. We gotta skip there. Let's go. Screaming oh, Yolanda will you hopefully got it. happen. I can't promise it will. And if it doesn't, I can't redo it. So, you know. So this is a game that doesn't really tell you how to beat the stage. The floor lights on fire immediately upon entering it at all times. And uh, random platforms will light on fire when you jump on them. Fizu, how fair is this video game? This game is incredibly unfair. Like Brasentia alluded to earlier, it's something that I kind of consider one of the proto-Kaizo games almost. Like, platforms will randomly disappear that you think are there, vines will snap and send you into the fire, the ground will catch on fire, um, sometimes there are platforms that will just appear out of nowhere just to mess up your jumps. Uh, yeah, you need to do trial and error, and on any difficulty above wimp mode, every time you die it sends you to a different level. Yep, just a random level. So this yep, is one level only... I I, uh, I don't actually know how to finish the last stage of the horse trial, but I d whoop I'm dead. Wait, I'm not, not like dead. That. Let's go. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Those hot Yolanda moves. Oh my gosh, I love that. Uh, yeah, I've played this. This game is impossible. Is it jumping uh, the horse? Just, just so y'all know. Oh yeah, you did. All right, <laughs> this is the hardest stage in the game. This is the first trial. Um, in my opinion, this is the hardest trial in the game. It's ridiculous. Oh. If you go too high up on this rope, you die. The rope breaks, you fall, and you die. Because of yeah. course you do. It's it's really hard to explain like how rude and how difficult this game is when I'm playing it's... it successfully. Because it's just got to look like, yeah, sure, this is fine. Just take this blind jump and everything's okay. Now, we can't jump to the next platform because it's a little higher and that fireball hit us in the face. I'm just going to find those like 17 invisible platforms. That's one of the Obviously. rudest jumps in the game right there. Funny enough, um. after playing this for a little while, you do kind of get used to 
thinking sort of, okay, there's going to be an invisible oh, platform no. here, or Everything's this fine. map looks like it will take me to the exit, fine. so it's going to kill me. You did the rudest jump again. I did. It's a weird jump, oh. and like sometimes you just don't make it. Uh, labor three, this is the deer. deer. Deer trial is good to, no, it's bird trial that's good to talk through. So, not yet. But we can talk about this. This room, I don't actually know how to jump over the spider correctly in the original version. I'm pretty sure you can't. But, you know, we could just skip it. This has another really rude skip where you jump immediately off the top of the level. You go over the uh, over the vine, but if you ever touch the vine, you fall straight down and die. Because this game is very nice to us. Yeah, the, is, uh, the vines are rough to most players, by the way, because... We got uh, room for one donation here. Sorry. Climbing we, is we only have them when we have them, so... Oh, if yeah, you want to hit us it. with one, go for it. Absolutely, I got him. We have a $50 donation from Arborelia, who says, Good luck, cat, and may the Yolanda soundtrack make only the hypest noises. Wow, that's my cool <laughs> life. Thank you, It Elia. is worth noting. Thank you. Yeah, the she's music. awesome. Arborelia is an excellent person, yes. Absolutely. Uh, it is worth noting. The, uh, the music in this game is actually really good. The problem is that it loops every time you start a new level, so you don't really hear the good bit. <laughs> oh, so you don't get the anxiety, anxiety. music. Jump yeah, in. you get Another. the anxiety music. All right, Labor 2. Uh, this is, uh, you know, Hades fans. This is Lerny. This is the Lerny and Hydra. So, you know, we've got that cross promotion here. I don't think, I don't even know if Hades is being run at this marathon, but this is it. This is There the, was one super giant game earlier. This is oh. the Hydra y'all love so much. They had Transistor. I'm pretty sure there was at least one snake in that. Phenomenal game. You can't do that jump in the original game. That's another skip. You can go around if you want, but I don't recommend it. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's oh. a scary jump. That's a really scary jump. This floor that we're about to jump to might disappear. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, there it goes. So one thing about this game as well, well if you've never played old school Amiga, a lot of games sort of had an auto fire mm -hmm. jump and this game definitely has that. You hold jump, you keep jumping. There we go. So uh, it, it's essentially a frame perfect jump you do off of the platform. It's just that most new players are going to do a lot more frame perfect jumps than they want because you have the <laughs> tendency to hold jump buttons if you've played an NES game. Yeah, you can, you can, you can. For this, don't do that. Absolutely. It's... And if we didn't take that first jump up there, all right, Cretion Bull, Cretion Bull, Cretion Bull, look, an empty room, a completely empty room. Everything's fine. We just have lots yeah. of invisible platforms. You just need to know where they are. It's all good. This is a normal, fair video game that everyone loves. Now I'm going to try for it the worst skip in the game, or we're going to try it once. Oh, okay, twice, twice, twice. Hold on. You've got spare logs. You okay. can do it. We're not doing it. So if you jump too early, you hit the platform. The platform lights on fire and you die. If you jump too late, the floor below you lights on fire and you die. And if you jump at the right time, you never touch the top of the platform and you make the jump into the bowl. It is uh, it is what we call bowl skip, and it's not great. Uh, By the way, on. this game we does have, have, do have limited lives. Yeah, there we go. This is my favorite part of the game. We, uh, we call this hype mode. Please enjoy this chat. It's going to last until we die, and I'm going to do my best not to die for you. Yeah, if you uh, if you die on the exact same frame as you finish a level, then uh, Yolanda's death screen just continues. Yep, it's around. great. This is what the Cosmos sounds like. <laughs> Incidentally, Cat was worried that this game would look too easy and like a perfectly normal game. Um, I... Much as I think that this game looks vicious to begin with because of just the level design, this is also really difficult to control. This level like, has jail. There is... If you go up too high there, you die. All right, sorry about hype mode ending. We're also really That's low on lives, right. but this is fine. <laughs> yeah, right. just in case you didn't notice, chat, everything is death. All right, everything, every platform that she doesn't check you start out in front of a fireball. might kill her. Yeah, so that level you started out in front of a fireball because every video game is good. Um, I mean, it is, this is a good video game. I love this game. Uh, I love this game. This, this. So why? Trial Ten has some really mean jumps in it, where you need to jump uh, through the top of the level to grab a vine. And uh, the problem with that is, if you go too high up on a vine, I can show you right here. You just fall. So uh, you know, you just got to be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Now I have to wait out awesome. this cycle. We have a cool cycle where we make a jump over a rock. But I wanted to show you how Cocoa mean this game Puffs. is. All right, this is them. it. So we need to position ourselves very perfectly here. Uh, dead center of this room, see your legs 
spread there. It's right there and you can jump. You want to do the same kind of right here. Oh. And we're going to go here. All right. Easy every time. <laughs> Easy every time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good job. This is a every very time I room. see that, it amazes me. <laughs> it <laughs> makes me panic. Like this whole game is panic. Make I mean, me cry. Side, labor force. Hold right. Just hold right. Whatever. There's a level there. I don't need it. We're good. This game We're good. does start every single level with what we unironically call the anxiety music, just to let you know <laughs> that the floor is about to catch on fire and you're about to die. This just yeah, as soon as right. the anxiety music stops, the fire starts. And if you wait too long in a stage, uh, the anxiety music starts again. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, labor five, labor five. Hold right. And now hold left. Don't worry, that fireball will not hurt you. This jump right here, if you hit this rope too low, it will break and you will die. But, you know, we could just be perfect. And if you touch any of those platforms below these top few, you, they will light on fire. And guess what? You will die. Anyway, we've made it to the last trial in the game right now. Okay. We have stepped into hell. And what are we going to do when we step into hell? We're going to pet that dog. So, if you will, please. Stay, stay. We Brr. are going to pet. We are going to march directly into the gates of hell and pet this dog. Because this is the goal of the game, is to pet a dog. Pet the dog. Keep Pet keeps running dog. away though come on come back here Cerberus or your friend no Whoop. that jerk this and used that's to be one of the know, scary this, in the game oh we're not this dead this is we're not one dead. of the <laughs> this is an amazingly good game you know it's an amazingly good game because it's a game where you get to pet the dog it's true all right time is not coming Except up it yet but it's coming away it's coming very oh, soon it's not this screen it's almost time I think it's the next one yeah this is a uh I think this is the last screen of the game um we're gonna pet this dog, chat, y'all, everyone here for Central Fizey. We're pet that dog. That's time. Yeah, dog pet it. <laughs> dog, oh my gosh, has been pet. Success, Yolanda completes Alaska. Alaska. <laughs> she completed in competed in Alaska. That's what I've learned here. Y'all, most I was, terrible of her tasks. I was stressed yeah. about that. <laughs> just because uh, you do have limited lives. This game does crash occasionally, and you just gotta be a, You just gotta be perfect. You just gotta memorize you gotta every be single perfect. Perfect. So, yeah. Oh, God, we did it. We did it. Hey, what's up? And Most was... people who play this, they will get a full <laughs> game over of like seven lives in about less than a minute. Like, unironically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have seen it happen many times. Yes. God, we got everything. We got We got hype mode. We got some skips. We failed. The, we failed bull skip. Everything is great. God, that run how, was how did you beautiful. Do this? Well done. <laughs> this game rules. <laughs> So I do want to say, hey, well, uh, I know my estimate was 18 minutes, but, you know, we were done. But hey, shout out to my lovely wife, Arborelia. You're really cool. I'm going to also shout out the absolutely delightful Peace Egg and shout out to the French Games Restream. Good friends of mine on there. Neetzel in blue, je t'aime. Uh, Brasencia and Cusa Grande, hey, y'all are great. And you introduced me to this game. And I appreciate that a lot. Faizu, you're responsible for bringing this to Cusa Grande. So <laughs> this is your fault also. And uh, I do want to give a big shout out to Mikey Yama, who's done a lot of work over these years at GDQ and really deserves a good rest. So, hey. yeah, we need to make him play bad games, too. <laughs> Y'all got anything to, sh you know, say hi about yourself for Ascension Paisu before I get pulled I think off stage? One Bro. last thing. I run the Hotfix Grudge match uh, and Flannel Cat has played there a couple times before uh, and it happens every other Friday so not this coming Friday but the next Friday uh, I have a feeling some of the Stardew Valley runners from earlier today yesterday whatever <laughs> the, the Stardew Valley runners are going to be on it okay I already got them confirmed so that's going to be fun all right awesome Pfizer uh, not really I'm, I'm just going to say you know thank you for having me here Yolanda is a wonderful game and you showed it off perfectly Ooh. um and uh, yeah, huge thanks to everyone in the audience watching, everyone who is donating, and uh, to Mike as well for, for kicking this all off. And uh, I hope you enjoy your break. Well, I've been Flannel Cat. Hey, you should maybe give me a follow. I professionally play pinball. I stream a lot of variety of things. I play a lot of nonsense. So, you know, I might be pretty cool. Please, we got a lot of awful block coming up very shortly. Have a lovely time. Keep donating, keep watching. GDQ is one of my favorite events of the year, and I am honored to take part in it. Um, for my third time this time. So, y'all, keep it real. That is a PB. Chat saying 9.30 is the time. That is a PB. So, uh, heck mm -hmm. yeah, go us. Wow. And, uh, nice. I will let you get back to, you know, regular regular things like video games and, and Awful Block. The next game will surely be better. 
Y'all have a lovely time. Take care of yourselves. <laughs> Bye. Awesome. Bye. Bye. Awesome. Everybody, claps in the chat for Flannel Cat. She did a tremendous job on Yolanda. That was a final time of nine minutes and 30 seconds. Well, well done. That was that was incredible. We had some good donations coming in for that, too. We have a special one here that I'm going to let you know about right now. Dan Salvato donated $1,000. Dan Salvato with $1,000 says... For the rare GDQ Amiga rep, here's $1,000 for my favorite Amiga model, the Amiga 1000. And remember, only Amiga makes awful block possible. Dan, thank you so much for the $1,000. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And AGDQ 2023 Online will be back after this. All right, and welcome back to AGDQ 2023 Online. I am, I am of course, your host for the next few segments, An Eternal Enigma. And we still have a lot of donations that we're coming on in. In fact, we have the follow-up, the official follow-up, Cloudy Shoe with $100, said, great job, An Eternal Enigma. Here's an extra $50 on top of the $50 that was promised. Good luck to Flannel Cat, Corn Dan, and all of the awful block runners. Cloudy Shoe, you are too kind. Thank you for setting up that... Uh, that wonderful tune for me. Thank you for all of your donations to prevent cancer as well. Thank you very, very much. 
We also had some more coming in for Yolanda. We had a $25 donation from Eseg who said, okay, Yolanda, I'm donating already. You don't need to scream endlessly, play the most stressful music ever, and set my floors on fire. Best of luck, Flannel Cat, and pet that dog. They were going for it. That dog kept running away. Thank you, Peace Egg. Thank you. We had a $5 donation from Kelsey Alexander that said, Go Cat! She did a great job. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you for the $5. We had a $25 donation from Alvis who said, Yolanda is giving me some serious, dangerous Dave times a million anxiety. Good luck and go fast. Thank you, Alvis. The run may be over, but the donations were not. We had a $25 donation from Cass XCII. Said, hi, Flannel Cat and friends. Transistor Runner here. There is a snake in Transistor called the Spine of the World, but we skipped it in the run. Thank you, Cass. Thank you. We have a $50 donation from Coaster who says, Awful Block is the most amazing thing I have ever seen. My goodness, it sure is. Thank you, Coaster. By the way, just want to say thank you to everybody for heeding the call before our last run began. The office race incentive and the Salamander County Public Television incentives have both been met. All these incentives being met. Y'all are ready. You are all ready for Awful Block. Thank you all very much. Keep those donations coming. If you see any incentives that are still open, fill them up ASAP. Thank you all very much. We had more Yolanda donations. This was a very popular one. We had $25 from Nafta Punk who said, Yolanda looks like a great game. Something to give to your best frenemies. Smiley face. Boy, is that the truth. Thank you, Nafta Punk. All right. Our next run for Awesome Games Done Quake 2023 online is ready to go. The awful block will continue. Our next runner, this will be her third appearance at a major GDQ, also seen at Flame Fatales a few times as well. This will be the first time uh, we have seen her since AGDQ 2022 online. Coming up next, Lizard Lady versus the Cats. First time we've ever seen this game at a GDQ. Lizard Lady versus the Cats, any percent category. Everybody say hello to Asuka 424.